At first glance, one might look at all the Forza Motorsport games and assume there aren't really that many differences between them. That's certainly what I thought before jumping into the series, but I soon realized that couldn't be further from the truth. And today we're going to focus on one aspect that makes one of these games stand out the most amongst the crowd. Forza Motorsport 4 is still beloved for its vast selection of economy cars. In fact, compared to the modern Forza games in which the slowest cars are grouped into Class D, Forza Motorsport 4 actually has two car classes below it, being classes E and F. Class F is mostly reserved for the economy cars which I mentioned prior, while Class E houses a lot of low horsepower JDMs and classics. Cars from both of these classes are usually among the cheapest out of the entire game, and I wanted to push these cars to their limits. So today we're going to find out if you can become a millionaire using only the cheapest cars from the two lowest car classes. This is basically the ultimate rags to riches story. And here's how it turned out. So what we are trying to do today is we are trying to earn a total of 1 million credits using only F and E class cars. The reason why I'm not choosing only F class cars is because the ones that you are seeing right here for the starter car collection are actually the only F class cars in the entire game. So if we restricted ourselves to only F class, this would be all we'd be driving. And while that sounds really funny initially, I don't think that's very fun, especially not in the long run. So um, I did extend uh, the charge to also using E-Class because I think E-Class is still fairly, fairly slow. This might be one of the best starter cars selection I have ever seen in any racing game. All of those cars are legendary. You guys are already freaking out. <laughs> this is easily the best starter car selection, it's just a bunch of shitboxes. I mean, the, the, the car has become a bit of a meme. But it's not, it's not THE car, you know? I feel like I want to go with the Micra. I don't think it's a car that I tried before, so I think this is what I'm gonna go for. Performance-wise, they're all pretty much the same. Maybe with like a nice green. I don't think anybody in chat was yelling for a Micra, so that's great. I picked the one car nobody has asked for. That, that's great. I think I have to do the first World Tour event, and to be honest, doing the World Tour is better because you earn more money from there. And if you want to get to a million credits the fastest, then World Tour is probably the way to go. You begin your career in the amateur division. That's definitely where I belong. <laughs> so with this we get a credit bonus of 50%, which doesn't matter much, because we only get 3,000 credits from the event. So this would actually double our, our money if we do the three-cylinder shootout. So we're gonna go with this. Alright, game difficulty. That is also where it gets interesting because um, the more difficult we make this, the more money we earn. Uh, I didn't make this like a speedrun challenge, maybe we could do that in the future. <laughs> but uh, so far, so far, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna set this up how I like it. Which is uh, stability control off, uh, traction control on. I, I like traction control on in this game. Because I think the cars can tend to, they tend to slide a bit too much for my liking. We can turn rewinds off. It's probably a big mistake, but we can turn we can turn rewinds off for now. It gives us an extra twenty percent. Yeah, I think I think this I'm I'm kind of happy with. That doubles our earnings, so let's let's do that. We're rolling up, we're rolling up. The fastest car I've ever ever built. Beautiful. <laughs> what does it what does it look like from the inside actually? Pretty box standard, as expected, I suppose. But so far so good. It feels pretty fast. Question mark. But this game age like fine wine, man. In terms of visuals, handling, progression. Beautiful. Perfect turn. My first one only took me almost three laps. All right, 100 comments power, passing the finish line. What? A, what a beauty! Man, look at that. 10k for the first race. That's one percent of what we need. <laughs> 99 more races to go, guys. So I think we might stick with the car for now. Thing is, we can obviously buy new cars, and that could put us into more profitable events. However, that also costs money. We need to have, a, you know, a million in our bank account. That's what this is about, basically. So this gives us a 50% credit bonus, which isn't much. Driver level bonus is random, so that could be nice. Or we just say fuck it, head out and look for events. Because we might find a lot more profitable stuff in here. So I have these micro battles here. We get a mystery bonus from these events. Oh, we do the top, top gear challenges. We get a double credits, whatever, however much we get here. Okay, we only get 900 credits from this. That's not much. <laughs> Even if it gets doubled, that's really not a lot. 
Okay, we get 5,000 from these events. So we can do the world tour, which gives us a credit bonus, but I think it's still better to choose events ourselves because that way we can pick and choose what's the most profitable. Question is just what should we, what should we even choose? <laughs> I think I'm overthinking this a little bit too much. I think what's best for now is we that, that we just find some kind of event that we can complete. Like maybe this here. Because then we've done this one and then maybe we get something out of out of the completion. Oh, this is actually the uh, shorter version of Tsukubo. That would explain why it looks like a freshly circumcised dick. I could have maybe at least upgraded the car to the top of F-Class, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do that for the next race. Uh, opponents here seem a bit more competitive than the last race. Really do think that was uh, just for introduction's sake. Not sure what performance the others are rocking. Yeah, that wasn't bad. It was seven, around 8,000 credits. Okay, here's our first actual E-Class car. No, we are not taking the Yaris. You guys, before you guys are gonna spam, I'm just gonna shut that shit down immediately. We're not gonna take the Yaris. We, have, we took the Yaris in, in previous playthroughs. Not again. <laughs> if it could be fun, I think the Honda 2 I tried before. Punto could be fun. Cyan XD. I see a lot of XDs in the chat. I'm not sure if it's because of this car or just generally because you guys are having a laughing fit. <laughs> I will say this thing is really ugly. <laughs> I kinda don't wanna use it. How about, how about the Suzuki? I think this is a fairly like unknown car. Like, I, have you ever seen this car before? I haven't. Unless last time I played the game, I guess. Let's go with this thing. Try something new, guys. Okay, but I think we're gonna have to continue with the Mikra. Actually, the Mikra is close to maxed out, so we don't we don't actually have to um don't actually have to upgrade it. I think. Oh, yeah, I definitely remember this from uh, Gran Turismo 4. Yeah, usually in Gran Turismo games I would cut over here, but um unfortunately this is Forza, <laughs> so the same strats do not apply. It's what I like to call um glued grass. It's like they put a bunch of glue on there, so your tires get stuck. Let's see you try and touch grass now! Start in your own franchise, num nuts! Ah. The Mikra is superior, look at this. I knew I chose the right car. Oh, okay, we can choose another one. Okay, those are a little bit nicer. <laughs> there, there's a Golf. I think there's a lot we can do with the 240SX and a Miata, to be honest. Do it. Oh, we go VTEC. Don't do it. You know what, let's go Miata. <laughs> I think the low weight might help us out. Oh, hey, all the Mata. I'm not gonna lie, the car does feel kind of fast. Like, it's probably because I haven't really driven anything else yet, but it feels kind of fast. Okay, we have 37.5k. That's still pretty far off from a million. However, I think I will invest that money into building a proper proper E-Class car. We, For now, I think we only need one. And we should probably buy something that's not Japanese so we have more access to uh, other events. Okay, so I just realized cars that you win only sell for 100 credits. That's not good. But it also means we can just use anything. But uh, for now, let me let me jump into the Miata. <laughs> I think I think we can build that car up to have more more power and, and just generally finish events fast and earn more money that way. First things first. <laughs> I don't think I want to rice it up. Actually, that looks kind of nice here. It costs money, but uh, yeah, it's just a couple credits. Also, look at that, man. This was when the Forza spoiler wasn't looking completely terrible. Crazy concept, right? Looks kind of nice. <laughs> maybe I would maybe make the wheels red if I can. What? Uh, not red. Like, that looks a little bit better. Painter. <laughs> okay, there is a Miata showcase, but for that one, we actually need the car to be B-class. That would cost a lot of money. Ah, oh, there we go. Mazda MX-5 Spec Series Racing. Sure, we can do that. Oh, we're back to... Ugh. Why is Tsukuba again? <laughs> God damn it. We've downgraded from the Mikra. This... This motherfucker right here. I love how the car is so low that the camera looks like... It's like a bird's eye view. <laughs> Full on bird's eye view. Especially in the far cam. Okay, what's next? So these are all still E-Class, which is nice. Uh, what should we pick? I should probably pick something that is not Japanese again. Just to have more options. So either the BMW, the Alpha, or the Lotus. Kind of leaning towards the BMW. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna go with the Beamer. More cars means more options. All right, that's that done. What else could we do with the Miata? Ah, another Miata race. <laughs> Miata and MX-5 Club. They're the same. We recommend that you upgrade it. Oh, I need to be D-Class for it. We're still in E-Class, okay. Any other E-Class events, maybe? Could go bowling. <laughs> 
We don't get much money from it, though. So I, I think right now the play would not be to save money. Right now the play would be to, to find faster cars and upgrade. I think we're gonna just get quick money for now so we can upgrade later cars. So honestly, I think the top gear challenge is probably not a bad idea. We also get an increased affinity bonus, which is basically a cash bonus, which might be more money than we get out of this challenge here. So I think that's a, that's a good idea. Okay, yeah, target is over 400k. I think this is a small car. It's not good. It's not a good idea to do this with a small car. Preferably, want to do this with something that's fairly large or at the very least longer. Let's see if we can do it, anyways. Okay, we got it. Yeah, it wasn't really worth doing. <laughs> we could try. Uh, I want to use the Miata for a little bit longer. I think we could try upgrading it to D-Class at least, and we can do the Miata races here. I mean, as you can see, upgrading the car isn't super expensive. Like, this upgrade to D-Class now cost me, like, 3k. And considering we earn more money from that event, I think that's gonna be worth it in the end. Okay, that's definitely a lot faster. Nah, I can also feel that the car is a little bit more tail-happy. Traction control is kicking in a lot more often. So yeah, from now the driver rewards are D-Class, so it doesn't matter what we choose here, we can't use it. So I'm just gonna choose anything here, it doesn't matter because they also all sell for the same amount of money. But we really need to get the most out of these low-end cars, I think. That's the key to completing this in a reasonable manner. Like, we need to look for cars that have the most upgrade potential. E-Class cars that we can push way beyond E-Class. I think the BMW we have might already be kind of good for that. The Miata, maybe as well. Maybe. I think the Miata I see as a solid B-Class car. We do also get affinity rewards. Actually, it's, that's not entirely unimportant. I just got 4,000 from just affinity. So we're currently we have 55k, so we are... 5% there? <laughs> but we're gonna spend that money again. Once again, we can get rid of this one, but that's only uh, 100 cards, which is unfortunate, but hey. But yeah, BMW. I think this one I want to put into A-Class. I want to I wanna skip immediately to A-Class, if possible. What can we do in terms of engine swaps? M3 engine? Not sure if that's necessary. Oh, we can all-wheel drive train swap it. Huh. Might be a good idea. The thing is, A-Class doesn't need to be overkill. A-Class is still like sport. Probably better to buy a bunch of sports parts. Okay, I'm kind of running out of money. Oh, we can, ju we can just upgrade the turbo. Turbo gives us a lot of PI. Can't afford it right now, though. Okay, we're gonna, have, we're gonna have to drive the Miata a little bit more. I can't max out the uh, Beamer just yet. King of the Mountain. I think those were just sprints, right? Yeah, we don't get much money from them, but they should be really short. So time-wise, that might that might make a, a lot of sense. Let's try these. Also, it's kind of fun. I like I like this track. Okay, this is just traffic. Let's see if we can get to the trainer. I think that's the, that's the opponent here. Shit. <laughs> we really actually do not want to damage our car, because that's going to cost us credits. Someone explained to me why they never bothered to bring this track back, by the way. Yeah, Pacific Shipyards, rest in pieces, man. Rest in piss. That gave us 6,000 credits for what was effectively like two minutes of time investment. <laughs> totally worth it. Hey, there's my micro. <laughs> Got stolen! Okay, that one took a little bit longer. Oh man, the damage. That's probably gonna, we're probably going to lose at least 1,000 credits from the damage. Actually, not even. Race feeds? Oh, that's probably why we're getting so much money. Because we're just passing drivers constantly, right? We get an extra 2k from that. And 7k from the affinity bonus suit. Okay, we're, we're rolling, man. Rolling in cash right now. So that, that's probably why these Torge races are so lucrative, because we're, get, we're farming passes on these. Because each traffic car we pass is a... Well, a pass. Right there. Right there. Right there. You can max upgrade the Miata. True, that's something I didn't think about. Right, fuck. Before we upgrade a car, we should drive it first. I should have taken that into consideration. Upgrades are free once you reach a certain affinity level. We should probably reach that affinity level with the car first and then upgrade it. Because I spent a lot of money on Beamer upgrades. I could have just used the Beamer as is for a few races and then upgrade it for free. You're right. I kind of fucked up there. And also, it does apply to the entire brand. So any monster we buy from now, we could upgrade for free. However, we're also a little bit limited, obviously. Like, we're gonna need some American cars, for example, if we wanna do American events or American-themed events. So just doing Japanese cars, that's not really gonna get us a lot of money. It's like an interesting balancing act, like... Should I get a variety of cars so I can have more, uh, so I can do more events? Or should I maybe stick to one brand so upgrading is always free? We'll see. But yeah, definitely a rule of thumb is use the car before upgrading it. Otherwise, 
I'm actually going to go broke on upgrades and we're never gonna get anywhere. So I think I'm still gonna max it out since it's already in 8 class now. Despite what I said. His damage has already been done, so fuck it. Improved turbo and maybe something else. There we go. Okay. So now the beamer is ready. Where do we use it now? We have one race here. Uh, the car actually needs to be stocked for this. Fuck. Too late. <laughs> BMW track day. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna farm a lot of passes here. It's kind of it's kind of similar to the um toge race. Ah uh, fuck the tuning, I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> Watch this. So we need to pass 27 cars, dude. This thing is loud. Okay, this is way faster, holy moly. Jumping from <laughs> D class to A class. I was mentioning that I didn't put any arrow parts on this thing. Because <laughs> I didn't want to ruin the look of the car. Meanwhile. How many affinity levels are there for brands? Maybe we can get a huge amount of money by just sticking to one brand. Maybe they're gonna stack so hard that you actually get more money from the affinity bonus than anything else. They go up to 25? Okay, I think that's where the money is. I kind of underestimated the uh, affinity bonus. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should stick to masters then, in hindsight. Maybe buy one or two other models and just grind that shit out. We can now upgrade them for free, which is good news. Whoa, so maybe, maybe we'll stick with those. How much money do we get here? 8k, okay, that's not bad. But with BMW, we're just starting the affinity bonus from scratch, so that's not much money. I'll change my thread. Maybe this is like a monster only run, in that case. <laughs> I mean, we can we can check what kind of monsters we have. Monster 2, this was one of the starter cars, I think. No, it wasn't. It was one of the reward cars we could have gotten. This, I, I guess it's like a monster 3. Yeah? Old school RX-7? It's already it. <laughs> what about the, what about the 240... Uh, Oh, wait. No, it's a Nissan. Okay, so not a whole lot. We kind of have to solo the Miata. I mean, it's fine. I kind of wanted to add, uh, put the Miata to B class anyways. We could do that for now. And see for how long we can use it. Okay, since everything is free, we can we can go ahead. Question is, does it need race tires for B class? I don't think so. I'd rather go with a wider compound. Maybe one more rate reduction to put it under, under a ton. Okay, that puts it to B500. I think that's where it maxes out. I don't know if that costs us anything. So we're gonna try to keep using the Miata to farm those uh, affinity bonuses. I think that's that money is too good to pass up on. I do actually think we should stick to the special events. <laughs> I think they pay out better than than races because you farm racing feeds. Let's try. Let's try autocross. Are that's gonna be real worth it or not at all? Yeah, true, true, true. We could look for specific bonuses. There are races that give you um, a higher affinity bonus. I should probably look at that more than the price money, because the price money is fairly balanced. There aren't specific races that give you huge amounts of money. And once they do, they take just they just take longer. Like, it's fairly balanced. However, we could fish for better bonuses. This car also became a lot louder after the upgrades, didn't it? Shit. I don't have rewinds enabled. But honestly, this game mode makes more sense if you have rewinds disabled. If you have them enabled, you can just <laughs> undo every mistake that you make. But I guess that's generally uh, generally a thing about rewinds. It's not specific to this game mode. Okay, I won. And it was 100% not worth the money, but we got an affinity bonus. Uh-huh. Okay, so we wanna, we wanna look for the bonus. <laughs> I think I'm gonna finish the autocross here. I think I already picked a pretty good one here. Twice the affinity for an event that isn't really long. Interesting way to play the game. I, I never really paid much attention to the bonuses and affinity. But I feel like that's kind of... That's gonna be the key to getting to a million in a reasonable amount of time. Fuck. Leveled up again. Okay, how much do we get? 15k. And that's just for level 5. That's a lot more than... Especially because it's it's extra money. Like, it's something we get on top of the regular price money. That's actually really good. Fuck. Affinity bonus plus 2000. There we go. Multi-class. Since we are the faster class 2, we're gonna farm some passes on the slower class 2, which is nice. Oh wow, D-class is actually so slow. I think I'm about to lap them. <laughs> I mean, that's where the car was at before. It's kind of funny. Get out of here. We actually got 12k from the race itself. That's actually not too bad. How much affinity? Oh yeah, way more. Way more. I think with the 2000, we almost yeah, we almost got to the next level. Very nice. Especially we're starting in pole each time too. <laughs> that's gonna make this even easier. 25k. Okay, now we're making bank. Yeah, we're definitely in the right place. Multi-class, that's totally where it's at. I'd be fairly confident in saying that after this race, we should already have 100k. Probably. That's worth a lot of excessive spending that in hindsight wasn't really clever. <laughs> but I think after this race we should at least have 100k. There we are, across the line! <laughs> I did not break for that corner. 
Hey, why does the car look so scratched up? What's going on? What happened? So where are we at right now? 121k, that's not bad. We still have two more to go. Then we're gonna have to uh, look where we can farm more affinity. Worst case, we're gonna have to switch to another brand. Okay, now, now we have to uh, see what we do next though, because I've done all these events now. So I farmed as much of the affinity bonus as I could. We still get an extra 1,000 here, but that's not much. 75% or 3,000. Nissan. I have a Nissan. <laughs> Chad, what do you think? Can I put this to A-class? Oh, man. I mean, I guess I guess we could try. Okay, no, no, stop, stop, stop. We're gonna, we're gonna use this car first. We're gonna use this car first, get the free upgrades, and then I'm gonna try to put it to A-class. I'm not gonna make the same mistake as with the BMW. I wanna save my money now. I, we, could, we could look for other Nissans, maybe. What, what Nissans do we have that are maybe a little bit... <laughs> I have an easier time reaching reaching A class. I think the 240SX could totally do it. And this one's just 7,000 credits. I'm gonna buy this one immediately. I'm gonna drive this one stock until I get some affinity upgrades. Because if we're gonna put this car to A class, oh, holy crap, that's gonna get expensive really fast. There are E class, multi class events. We could continue doing multi class. And that may not necessarily be such a bad idea because we get a twice affinity there as well, which is good because right now we have to get affinity up. So we can upgrade the car. So I'm gonna continue doing this, I think. You need to do a lot more thinking, man. <laughs> With this entire challenge. Which is very surprising. Oh, four laps on this shit? Okay, that better boost my affinity uh, tenfold. Whoa, holy level. Those were two levels back to back. Okay, I think upgrades are now free. Or at least they're very cheap. Okay, upgrades are free. Okay. In that case, uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go ham on this thing. The goal is A-class. Now we can push it there without actually spending our own money. I'll see if we got that much, uh, that many levels, that many affinity levels. May have actually been worth continuing, but uh, I don't, I don't fuck with E-class anymore. Do you fuck with the? Engine swaps, visual mods, and drivetrain swaps are not free. Oh yeah, right, yeah. How much would a conversion cost? Okay, we can put a GTI engine in. To be honest, that's probably the easiest way to get to A-class. But any, if we can just use the stock engine, it would be basically free. I think we're not gonna get around adding a turbocharger though. I'm gonna try upgrading the car as much as possible with the free upgrades and see how far we get, but there's a good chance we might at least have to add a turbo. Strike that. I, I think we can do this without a turbo. Even if the car isn't fully maxed out, I think that's good enough. I would honestly uh, prefer saving my money. So we're, we're missing a few PI. Just a few, but I don't think it's worth the money. I think we're gonna be fine. How about, how about adding some Alfa Romeo Giulietta wheels? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, sweet jeez, no. Yeah, okay. So it's not fully mixed out, but it should be just good enough to uh, beat races. Let's see if we can pull it off. Oh, it's actually one of those events. Okay, that's actually great. We're farming passes, so that's more money. So this might actually be really good. Even if we have to start from kind of from scratch when it comes to affinity bonuses, since we are now in a Nissan and not a Mazda. Ow, okay, the brakes are not good. 11k from the race is not bad. Affinity level, not bad. The problem is we, we are starting from scratch. You know, that's kind of the problem. <laughs> I need to keep using Mazdas whenever I possibly can. It's, it's, we're too far with masters now not to, not to use them. I'm gonna continue doing this, but, um, we should really try to get back to them eventually. Oh god, let me through. Thank you. Fuck. Okay. Ahem. Am I gonna finish this? Should I finish this? I think I will. It's all about the infinity bonus. It's all about the, it's all about the infinity bonus. Infinity. And beyond! This just keeps getting worse. Okay, we got ha halfway done at least over the course of lap one. Why am I getting so many passes? What the fuck? What? <laughs> what was that? That was buggy, 100%. Uh, that car is dead. Okay, now my car is pulling in one direction. That's what makes you yeah, look, I passed 92 cars, 93. <sighs> Such a curse race, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Where is everyone? Okay, this this event is completely broken. We got 5,000 credits just from passes. But I lost so much money from, from damage that it didn't matter. <laughs> Typical. 
Number of doors must be cars with two doors. My car happens to be to, to be having two doors. <laughs> so I guess we can jump into this. Hey, Nürburgring, let's go. And I think these are also fairly short. I mean, this is basically Toge, but on the Nürburgring. Oh god, what are you doing? Holy crap, okay. That was some midnight club shit. <laughs> Ow. Okay, now my engine is smoking. I'm so slow now, oh my god. Can even get past gear three? There. This car actually feels like it got downgraded by three classes now. This feels like an E-class car. Oh my god, man. Oh my god! The car is completely fucked. It is actually completely fucked. I can't move. That actually killed the car. It's not moving anymore. I am I am holding down the throttle. It's over. It's over! I went to class Z. Where you can actually just fucking walk. Okay, not again, not again. Okay, this is looking much better. Let's try to roll over the car again. Good thinking. You think you can beat the fastest driver on the blacklist? I'd love to see you try. Fucking golf. Oh man, what did he do to my golf, bro? Get out of the way. Oh my god, the car's damaged again. F in the chat. Fuck. <laughs> Get yourself a silly bro. <laughs> the ring is hard, man. You just can't, you can't overtake him, man. Not again! Not again. Don't hit me, man. Fuck. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna finish this race. I will finish this race. Come on, come on, come on. Be my still to pass all these other cars. I can take that to my advantage. Come on, finish line is right up there. Are uh, you fucking beetle? One. Beetle bitch. All right, we got it, I think. Jesus, man. How much did I lose for a pass now? 2K! Ah! Okay, that kind of hurts. Come on, hit me! Hit me! There we go. <laughs> Head on. Oh my god, what's happening? What is actually happening? Wow, we're actually just standing around. I think that actually killed two drivers just now. <laughs> You're laughing. Okay, the affinity was pretty pretty pathetic, unfortunately. So that may or may not have been worth it. So we are a quarter done. <laughs> we're a quarter done. <clears throat> a quarter. What should I do? Master speed roadside. I have to downgrade the car or buy another monster. Actually, there are no restrictions. Interesting. Anything that's D class can participate. I think it's for this. <laughs> we need a sports car. I don't think we can find a sports car in E class yet. Although it does say I, I have cars available. I can use this one. I mean, just doing two laps in an A class car for double the money that it says up there and everything that gets added to it. That might not be bad. I think we can use this one. Okay. Maybe it's just me. I think we're kind of out of place here. <laughs> it, this thing did count as a sports car. And it was initially E-Class. So this is actually kind of funny. Why does this keep happening to me? The car is fucked again. Wow, I'm actually on the side and I can't reset. I'm actually fucked. That has literally never happened to me. That has never happened to me in the entirety of me playing this game. Or any Forza game, by the way. Car sounds extremely broken. But I think that's as far as we're gonna go. Fucking damn it. <laughs> My cops can be super deadly in this game. As I keep saying, can I at least beat the Corvette. <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy moly, what a scuffed race. Okay. That did not go how I wanted it to, how I wanted it to, but I'll take it. Oh no, 2,000. Okay, that's not terrible. Could have been better. Promise we're once again like fairly low when it comes to BMWs. Like we just now hit level four, which I guess makes the upgrades free, so we could maybe now look into other BMWs. That might be a good idea to see if there's any F or E class BMWs. But yeah, they're not paying out as well until we use them a little bit more. But maybe we could take a look. Okay, that's actually it. Only these three here. 507. Holy fuck, that thing is expensive. Okay, nah, never mind. We're not buying any of these. <laughs> Way too expensive, man. 3.0? Yeah, it would be cool, but is it, is it 120k cool? I don't think so. At least not in this challenge. I think we can totally keep using the Beamer. Question is just for what? I remember there were a lot of Beamer events here. We're gonna get a random affinity bonus from these races again. So that might be worth it. We're gonna have to be a little bit lucky. Alright, let's go. What is he doing? <laughs> What the fuck? What are they doing? 
<laughs> that corner was way too wide. <laughs> How can none of them take that corner? What the hell? It looked like an online lobby for a moment there. Okay, what are we getting? The random bonus. Plus 25%? Okay, that was not good. Kind of got ripped off them. Oh, Jesus! 15k from BMW. Thank you, thank you. God, oh, Mary, Mother of Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth! So what are we doing next? Master Production Showcase. Plus 50% affinity bonus, that's not bad. I think I'm gonna do this. Especially since we have already leveled Master pretty, pretty nicely. So if we do get another affinity level with Master, it should pay out really well. BMW, Master, and Nissan, that seems to be the holy trinity for now. One of these things is not I like the others. Plus 50%, it's uh, so not much. Mainly because the races are fairly short and low level. They're gonna be short! Okay, we should get big money. 45k, let's fucking go. Who's low level now, bitch? Why did I think that was the last lap and I bent the car? Ow! My brain just... I just had a brain injury injury for a moment. <laughs> I thought that was the last lap. I don't know, it was like a three minute race, so it felt... It felt like that was the end. It's fine, I can, I can still win this. Watch this. Ow. There goes 3k. Oh, we have more events available now. Now that we're level 15. We unlock more stuff. I'm not sure if we can get to the higher championships here. S-Class. Uh, that's gonna be tricky. Yeah, we don't have we don't have that much to choose anymore. I should maybe buy up some more cars so I can have more options from the brands that we've already established. Honestly, there might be some decent we could use. Maybe it's worth buying these cars just so that we have more options. Let's try to buy the Fair Lady. I think we can use the one for plenty of championships. We can try buying this RX-7. I'm not sure if I'm able to use this for anything, but uh, why not? Let's just expand our garage so we can see if we can do a little bit more. I mean, these cars aren't that expensive, so I don't mind buying them, even if I'm not going to use them. Okay, let's see. If we have more dots, yeah, definitely. Nissan Classics, there you go. Affinity bonus random. Can use the Fair Lady for that one. Just giving it some uh, fairly basic upgrades. Question is, how hard can I push it? I think to 275. I think that's where we're hitting D class. All right, there we go. Got it. Neat. All right, let's see how good it is. It's just old Skylines and this one. Not sure if the car really needed street tires on E class. I, think I probably should have bought a better camshaft instead. But hey, although we are really fast in the corners now, for what it's worth. Woo, 2,000 XP. Not quite enough for the level up, but that's fine. All right, another, another affinity level and a bonus. We've made it halfway to a million. We have more than 500k now. Now, now that we have our affinity levels a little bit higher up, uh, this, this goes way faster. This goes way, way faster. Ooh, Laguna. I think we've been on Laguna Seca today. Or general. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like they definitely captured the, uh, the vibes of Laguna a lot better here. It feels very deserty, which, I mean, I guess fairly accurate. It feels a lot more dry. Alright, but I think after this we have to look for another event again. Preferably one where we can continue simping for Master or Nissan. I want to get that affinity up as much as possible. Notice me, senpai. Notice me. Okay, we get we get a double affinity bonus from this event if I use my my RX7 here. It's about the RX7 to B class. That sounds fun. Some rotary power. See, this is exactly why I wanted to buy new cars so I can actually see what what options I'd have. Definitely put in a better gearbox. Jesus Christ. So nice when all of this is free. <laughs> so let's see if this car is actually good. Okay, this car kind of fucks, I'll be honest. For B-Class, this is pretty sick. This thing just fucking grips, dude. Look at this. It's insane. It's probably the grippiest car I've built so far. Okay, how much money are we getting now? This is level 9. 55k. Okay, let's go. Huge. Huge gains among us, Shrek. Fanity Z Club. Oh, nice. That one could give us double as well. I think we're gonna have to upgrade the um, Fair Lady for that one, yeah. We need to push this one to A. Give it beans. Okay, whatever I said about the grip on the RX-7, I take it back. This one's even better. Holy moly. Okay, gotta be careful with the curbs. So much grip on this thing. Turns almost as well as a race car, honestly. Come to think of it, I don't think... I think I've had to try to race car in this game. I actually managed to almost lap some of the other drivers. And that's kind of impressive. Boom. I like it. Very clean look. Oh yeah, we're getting we're getting big XP here. Yeah, look at that. 45k from Nissan, thank you. And I also just want to point out, this car is even maxed out for A-Class. We are a few PI short. 
Like, if you actually were to mix this thing out with a turbo or whatever. Holy moly, this thing is gonna be a rocket for A-class. Man, the pops from this thing as well. Alright, nice. But I think, I think that's the last event in here. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to start looking for something new. Um, we could upgrade the Mikra to E-class. <laughs> that's actually a good idea, that way we keep using Nissans. And we farm twice the affinity with this event. I don't know if I want to go back to E class though. This bitch don't know about e. Brain, leave it alone. Mm. I'm gonna try my luck in this here. Mystery affinity bonus, but maybe we'll get lucky. But the Mikra is another Nissan we could maybe use for the multi class E race. Bonk! I don't know. <laughs> Killed the cameraman. <laughs> oh, okay. If we get a good bonus, that might be that might be a level up. If we get a good one. 25%?! Ah, oh, what a ripoff. It's my favorite track. First time we're on here. Although they managed to make this track exceedingly boring with every subsequent Forza game. I mean, look at this fucking track. What am I looking at? Florida! It's the most barren wasteland of any track ever. Yeah! Florida! And on top of that, it's completely flat. There's not even an inch of elevation. Hey, Elon, old buddy, old pal, you mind swinging by Florida and terraforming us up some hills? Apparently our elevation isn't varied enough. And then you have this awkward-ass corner. This is probably the most awkward corner of any any uh, track ever. And then on top of that, the road is super fucking bumpy, which makes every turn feel extremely unpredictable. Florida. I'm, I'm still yet to see any positive arguments from people that enjoy this track. I know they exist. People have told me that they like this track, but I have yet to see a single fucking reason for it. And on top of that, it's almost like exclusively 90 degree corners. Like this is something that people complain about when it comes to tracks like Yas Marina. How is this any different? <laughs> 90 degrees, 90 degrees. And then, hey, would you look at that? 90 degrees. And oh my God, is that a 90 degree corner? No way. Fuck this track. Hey, level up. 55k, yeah. Okay, we got 55k from Master earlier, I think. Yeah, I think unfortunately I might have to go back to the uh, Micra. Tune that one up for for E-Class. So, a bit of a downgrade, but I think it's worth the effort. Return of the Micra. Can't believe we're going back to it. But it just makes too much sense. Can we rice it? Not really. I mean... Slam it? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Why does it have sports brakes? This is... Forza Auto Upgrades at its finest. Like, this is the car that I got in the beginning of the game. It got auto upgraded to the maximum of F class, literally the lowest class in the entire game. And what did the game deem to be a worthy upgrade? Sports brakes. For the lowest class of the entire fucking game. This is exactly what I mean. This is why I keep saying that the auto upgrades in this game are so bad. That extra PI point, you could have just as easily added for, you know, used for another performance upgrade. Like a car that's this slow does not need sports brakes. And that's that's the Forza Auto Upgrade system right there for you. This is why I would never recommend you guys to use it. Because the game has no clue what makes a good tune. Not even the slightest. Okay, don't mind the car's edge. Multiclass. I yeah, don't mind about... Whoa, what the hell? Now that's embarrassing. Imagine getting passed by a fucking micro when you're driving a Corvette. Okay, I think something happened again looking at the map. We weren't fast enough to see it. Oh yeah, something definitely happened here. How am I able to keep up with these cars? Okay, that guy is completely fucked. That Mercedes... To <laughs> yeah, he's done. Actually gets wrecked by a micro because he took too much damage. Look at this. Let's <laughs> see if we can finish ahead of the Mercedes. Would be really funny. Oh, he's gonna go into the pits? Oh wow, he's actually going into the pits. Was that intentional? Well, we're definitely doing some live uh, Forza Mythbusters right here. Zoom, zoom, motorsport Mythbusters, I'm doing- Fuck! Unless we get 10k from these races alone, which is not bad. Oh yeah, dude, brand, look at the brand affinity. Especially it gets doubled. So that's kind of pog. Have we been on Road Atlanta yet? I don't think so. Oh man, what are they doing? Dude, they literally can't drive these A-class cars. Absolutely incapable. They, dude, they're going off all... What? <laughs> what is this Forza Online lobby, dude? Let's see if, we, if they're gonna fall off again. Yep, okay. 4 GT is... Couldn't even make it through turn one. Hey! Open your damn eyes! 
Dude, he, what? He does that on purpose. Like, he steered into the... Again? He steers into the corner and then just stops. He does that on purpose. Then I can win against the Fortunity. I'll have to block him super hard. Oh, God. Oh. He backed off. Close. Close the gap. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Just don't let him. Pass. Stop. Come on. Ha ha ha. L, L, L. GTL. I think he just drove. Yeah, he just drove off again. All right, there he is. <laughs> That should give me so much XP. Yeah, look at that. Boom, level 10. How much are we getting from level 10? 65k, not bad. Not bad at all. What's a car that we could maybe get to S-Class? I would be willing to invest. Holy crap, we're really close to a million. So the, the, the 2002 Turbo is already pretty fast from the get-go. I think that one we might be able to push fairly high. I mean, it's by far our fastest car right now. That we probably haven't even maxed out. Oh yeah, we can push it to S-Class even without a swap, but it's gonna be on the lower end. Actually, no, look how much more power we can add to this thing. Holy moly. It wasn't even close to mixed out. We could make it all-wheel drive. Holy crap, R3? R3? What? You can make an R3 with fucking an all-wheel drive swap? Okay, that opens up a lot of opportunities. Brother. Okay, now I have to now I have to completely reevaluate what I'm doing here. Not sure if there's any races for race class that are worth doing. This maybe. Uh, the thing is, they don't give good bonuses anymore. Now, I wanted to get to S-Class for this event, the Euro Autocross. So let's let's stick with S-Class for now and do these here. The thing is, we have not leveled BMW as much as Nissan and Mazda. Ah, oh, fuck. So it's not gonna pay out super well if we level the affinity, but that's okay. This might just give us a lot of XP because it's just an S-Class race, even if it is just Autocross. So money is pretty pathetic. Ooh, but the affinity is good. Especially considering it's literally just one lap. Slow lap, but it's just one lap. Oh, dude. We're getting so close. We're so close to Mel. No. 907k. It's really only like a couple of manufacturer bonuses away. Don't think I ever got to a million credits in this game before. Because earning money, like, you actually have to earn money here. You don't actually get it shoved up your bum. You have to properly earn it. I'm so, so glad they removed the chicane here. In Catalonia, who have won. Makes the track flow so much better. Especially, look how I have to take this here. On the outsides there. Disgusting! Alright, nice. So, we, do we want to look into R3 events? We know the car can take it. Could cap it off with a bang. We could try this. It's probably a bit safer than completely mystery bonus. Where it could give us like extra driver XP or whatever. Although we don't get that many credits, but that's okay. We're still gonna level up the affinity level. It's just not gonna give us any bonuses. Okay, let's send this thing into a monster. Oh, we're I do think I want to add this shit to the car now, though, as much as it pains me. Otherwise, it's going to become absolutely undrivable. So we're definitely on the lower end of R3, but um, it might just be good enough. All right, back to the ring we go. We're gonna go up against the Koenigsegg CCX. It gives me a warning to upgrade the car, although it's already in R3 class. Okay, I guess I must have forgotten about a few upgrades. Should I just add them? Fuck it. It's gonna be bad. Can this thing? Beat a Koenigsegg CCX. Oh boy, let's see. I believe, Chad. Oh my god. Oh, what is he doing? Oh my god. Holy crap, we're actually doing it. CCX getting smoked. Okay, honestly, when I started this challenge, I would have never expected that we'd be able to build a car that could beat a Koenigsegg. <laughs> That's insane. This car started out in E class. That's bananas, man. I mean, in all fairness, the AI has issues passing traffic, which we could see uh, right in the beginning. But nevertheless, man, that's still impressive. No! <laughs> Get back on the wheels, okay. You don't respawn. It's like it's like GTA, like old GTA. All right, Pog, man. How much money do we get? Okay, how much is the credit bonus? We get no credits from this. Even with 4,000 extra, it's just 7,000. But then again, it is a short race. So maybe that's worth it. <laughs> but we're gonna probably do... We're gonna, we're gonna have to do proper races. Let's go. Let's complete them all. <laughs> Careful with the curbs. Ooh. I don't like that. Oh, that's not good. Okay, now our engine is damaged. This is gonna be tough now. Now we're basically back to uh, A-class, performance-wise. But let's see if we can do it anyways. Oh god, that CCX is coming. I'm surprised we managed to survive the long straight 
Will the damage come? <laughs> <laughs> he had enough of this shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, so much damage though. It's not good. Okay, 5,000 extra credits is not, not bad. Look at that. Oh, he's starting to pull now. Oh, yeah, he's starting to pull now. Oh, no. No. Ah, it was breaking in that corner. It wasn't good. Ah, yes, he was. Whoa, what the hell, man? Defensive play right there, 100%. Push that car into me. Right, what are you gonna do now? Oh, my God. Got him. A little bit of a tap. Guys, I really love these Nurburgring challenges. Especially in faster, ca uh, in faster cars, this is really fun. Probably some of the most fun events in this game. Hey, damageless. Alright, last one. Come on. Ah, uh, he's stuck, he's stuck, he's stuck, he's stuck. He wasn't sure where to go. Alright, now that was Pog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's wait for the CCX. There he is. You should be ashamed. There was another... Race for our three cars. I think it was somewhere over here that we can do. That one gives us mystery bonus, so this could be anything. But then there are, now there are no more traffic cars to help us out. We actually have to do this legit now. I got stuck on the gumper. I'm restarting immediately. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, we had a much better start this time. I have some doubts if we could do this here. <gasps> what? Why did you just stop? Okay, it's not me that whose engine is smoking, so I think we might be fine. Oh, the, the the steering is fucked. But look at this man. Yeah, he's damaged. So am I, but only steering. We're still gonna lose some speed to that, but oh no, I think we're actually more than fucked. I think maybe maybe we did take some engine damage, even if it's not visible. Yeah, it's, have, it's gonna have to be another restart. See, that's the thing. I wanted to try to jump over him. I wanted to, but I couldn't make it. Man, no, no crashes, no bullshit. Otherwise, we can't keep up anymore. Why are they breaking there? It's a straight line. Is this time I only took some damage on the bumper. So we should still be in the game. Man, this should better be worth my time. <laughs> I actually have to try out this a little bit. Oopsies, oopsies. Oh, yeah, he sh I spun him. Actually, no, he spun himself. I didn't do anything. I refuse to take accountability for that. Ah, dude, a little bit more grip would be nice. There we go. Start coming this time. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some blocking, I think. He will definitely try to go for an overtake somewhere. Ah, no, fuck. I have to dive bump. I can't dive bump. Shit. I think that's it. Fuck, dude. I don't have enough grip through here, man. Damn it. Okay, we still get decent money. We get actually a lot of experience. That's actually really good despite... Dude, that was the second place. Felt like we got as much XP as if we had won. So my theory is still correct that, you know, higher classes, they do pay out a bit better in terms of XP and shit. All right, come on. Nice. Top Gear co-host. <laughs> Thanks, game. Welcome back to Bottom Gear, mates. This time on Bottom Gear. Cars. Oh, <laughs> what? What the fuck? Why are the tires solid? What the fuck are those made of? I thought I could just drive through these. What the fuck? It's just tires. What the fuck? Cool. Very cool. Okay, don't hit the tires. Understood. No. Back off. I can probably cut a little bit over these corners here. Get a bit of an advantage. They are all over the place right now. Okay, break so I don't hit these again. And pray that they don't catch up too much on the straights. Okay. GG's. Holy moly. <laughs> this car's really fun. <laughs> 9k. We, ah, because we got a mystery bonus. Oh, there we go. BMW Infinity Level 8. 45k, dude. I think we might have it. We're 10k off. We're 10k off. We're 10k off. The next race... Actually, I think two races. It's probably... It's gonna have to be two races. We're gonna do the Among Us track. Two more races and then we then we got a million. Because I think the races pay out less than 10k. Unless we get really lucky with the bonus. In which case, GG. We're definitely not gonna get another affinity uh, level. So it's just gonna have to come from wins now. And earnings. Oh, -ho -ho! <sighs> oh no, I think I'm gonna eat it here. Uh, not quite. I think we can cope on this track. Okay. If we're lucky, that was it. If we're lucky, that was the final race. That was it. Holy crap. All right. GG's. That is 10k from the event. That means if we now go back 
Fuck it, I don't care about this car. Get it out of my face. That means we should now have one million. We're officially a millionaire. And we got there with only slow cars. With an asterisk. <laughs> with only F and E class cars. Holy crap. We did it. Proven that you don't need fast cars to get rich. This is our lineup. The 2002 Turbo. I honestly would have never expected that we could push this car to R3. And have it keep up with like a Koenigsegg and a bunch of other shit. Mikra was our starter car, the GOAT for lower ends. I honestly say the Suzuki we never used, so uh, that's great. Try something new, guys. The RX-7 we bought fairly late. Was kind of nice. Miata carried us f quite a lot in early game. Was great. Then, oh, the Fel 80 Z, I gotta say, this is my easy, my favorite car. I mean, the, the, the BMW, also fun, but this one, actually really fun to drive. And the 240 SX carried us as well through the early, early bits of Nissan Infinity levels. What a lineup! So what are we buying with a million credits now? <laughs> what's, a, what's a car for a million credits? It's any R1 car I can buy. I can... What is that? What the fuck is that? That looks like a modern Escudo. It probably is. That's the fastest car I can buy on stock right now. Otherwise, we have some actual, like, was this, like, GT2? Oh, nice. They have a, they have a Fury. Dude, I gotta. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta. All the money we just spent over the course of literally hours. Gone in an instant. All for this beautiful Escudo. And that's something. Let's see what it can do. Look at the interior, man. I don't think they ever added this car back into Forza, did they? This thing is insane. The sound is bonkers. Our uh, tops are very quickly though. It's a lot of acceleration, but not a lot of top speed. I do think we were able to achieve more top speeds with the BMW. Therefore, BMW is still better. <laughs> what an insane car, man. I have never seen this thing before. I let alone driven it. It's like the Scooter's grandchild. Like the Forza version of <laughs> an Escudo. It's actually kind of nice. Well, there you have it. You can absolutely earn a million credits with only slow cars in this game.